spec fire char reactor. Um, this is the valve that controls the flow either through the chimney or through the retort of the reactor. So whenever we start, we'll close the chimney and allow the flue gas to go into the secondary chamber of the retort to heat up the biomass in the inside. This valve right here will allow the flue gas to choose a pathway to go up through the biomass into the center. If you would like to do um, the recycling, it will bring the gas through the condensing chamber and out as bio oil. Now we'll open the sweep gas circuit and it's this knob here at the bottom. So when we open this, the flue gas is allowed to pass through the inner and the inside core of the Beck reactor into all of the biomass. So what happens is the this circuit will open here and it'll allow the gas to first condense. Any condensate will come out of the um, out of the bio oil ch chamber here. As you can see, we're getting some right now. And any of the other volatiles that don't condense will be introduced back into the burner so we get a clean burn. And you can see that there's no smoke coming out of the stack here. We have very clean emissions. The sweep gas circuit is open, allowing the flue gas to go through the core of the reactor. And meanwhile, we're condensing the volatiles that are able to be condensed. The rest of them are actually sustaining the flare. So we're not running off of propane, we're just running off of the, off of the biogas. There's a pressure reading of one across the manometer. And we're running the uh, biochar auger at probably its lowest setting right now. So we're taking char out at about 520 degrees Celsius and it will continuously run until it fills up the, the chamber. So now we're going to close the retort and allow the gases to go up through the chimney. We're getting a clean burn because we're burning those uh, volatiles off before they're allowed to go through the stack. As you can see there's no emissions right there and we're not running off the propane. Because we've closed the retort now, we're going to expect the temperatures to drop a little bit. So now I'm around 400 degrees Celsius and I'm able to control the temperature of the reactor and the residence time with the motor at the bottom for the biochar auger. And you might want to put a little bit more, a little bit of propane on it in the beginning to shut it down slowly. But we'll go ahead and cap the burner. Cap the burner. And then we'll turn off the ejector here. And close the air valve. And then we'll also close the propane here. And also make sure that you close the bio oil condensing port here. And that's it. And then we'll check back on our biochar later whenever it's cooled off. So while you have a flare on the burner here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the system off of propane and run it to run the burner off of the volatiles of the wood only. So I'm going to turn off the propane here, but it's going to be, a, I'm going to turn it off very slow because this transition needs to be smooth so we can keep the flare lit. So I'll turn it off here. And then you may need to adjust the ejector and the air mixture to the burner to keep it lit. Right now, off of the manometer reading, I'm pulling about an inch of water. Is it lit? Yeah. Great. 
Now we're running off of the volatiles and the propane is completely off. So you want to make sure that the line here, that there's no low spot in the line until it gets down here to the condensing cyclone. So now that my biochar is up to temperature, then I can control the auger motor at the bottom, the auger for the biochar, and I'll go back to that reservoir right there. And with this knob, I can control the speed of which I want to take the char out of the reactor. This will, co this will control the residence time of the char through the reactor at the specified temperature that you like. Couples that we have inside the reactor here, so you can monitor the temperature of the biochar. And right now we're at 343. Okay. If you open up the condensing cyclone here, and you see we do have some bio oil condensate. And this will continue throughout the run. Mm -hmm. 